it's late January 2020. We are right outside of Bailey, Colorado, and today we're going to be hiking the Ben Tyler Trail. For a full hike review of the Ben Tyler Trail, go ahead and check the link below. The Ben Tyler Trail is part of the Lost Creek Wilderness. So as you can see, we're right here. The trail basically works its way all the way down to the Rock Creek Trailhead here. And this trail, this whole distance here is 11.5 miles round trip. Uh, so actually Rolling Creek, or sorry, Rock Creek, is the start of segment uh, four of the Colorado Trail as well. So we'll be back there in the near future. A bit windy and loud right on the road here, so let's walk up a bit and I'll give you some history about the trail. So the trail starts off with a couple of switchbacks to get you a little bit off of 285 and uh, yeah, enters in to Lost Creek Wilderness shortly after that. This trail was named after Ben Tyler, obviously, who lived here in the early 1900s and operated a, a lumber mill in this, the area until it burned down. This trail is typically hiked in the summer and fall, it has really beautiful, beautiful uh, fall foliage. The fire that burnt down Ben Tyler's property uh, eventually led to a beautiful aspen field uh, that's very large. So in the fall, the uh, leaves here are really pretty, but I've been feeling cooped up a bit lately, so just wanted to get out here and hike this in the uh, winter. As you can see today, storm is rolling in, but still pretty good views of the area. This is a great winter hike because the access is unbeatable. 285 is always open pretty much. So you never have to worry about trailhead access since it's literally right off the highway. I will say though, in winter, parking is much easier than the summer and fall where the tiny lot will fill up very quickly. On a clear day, you'll get some nice views into Mount Evans Wilderness up there. Some pretty snow-capped uh, peaks. Just about 1.4 miles into the hike, you're gonna enter Lost Creek Wilderness, and there's a trail registry maybe 50 yards that way that you'll pass, so be sure to fill that out before you enter. Whenever I'm out in nature and see things like this, which makes me uh, think of Jackie. Little heart shaped log here. Juno's been on a real stick kick lately. I don't know what's gotten into her. She's almost five and a half, never liked sticks. Now, this winter, she's all about eating them. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. You gonna bring it with you? All right. We'll see how long I have to deal with this for. In the fall, this would be one of the many pretty yellow aspen sections. In the winter, everything is dead. Just under three miles into this hike on the Ben Tyler Trail and uh, yeah, what used to be a super well-traveled path is now basically following one set of footprints. It's probably a good time to talk about uh, what you're gonna need to hike this trail in the winter. Today's pretty lucky. We haven't had uh, snow in a while, so it's pretty well traveled, but um, this would be a great trail to have snowshoes on and or micro spikes. And I'll link um, below to the two that I recommend, snowshoes and micro spikes that I use. Um, and yeah, it's always good to 
have a map or some kind of a navigational device because don't uh, always count on being able to follow someone else's footsteps to follow the trail. What went from following one other person's tracks to breaking trail. Not ideal. So we'll see how far we can keep going before I lose my patience with Juno and uh, the snow. But hopefully can make it to the top at least of the gulch here so I can show you some aerial views. So that's the trail and watch what happens. Go ahead. Not ideal. Well, I really didn't have to do this, but this uh, snow is just giving us no choice. It's super deep. Didn't bring the snowshoes today. And uh, that was obviously a mistake because yeah, as I just showed you, it's just really tricky. And I think Juno's getting pretty tired too. She's sinking like up to her head in snow. So um, yeah, we're gonna turn around here. We're about three miles in. Give you some quick views. So once you keep going here, you're basically gonna hit a series of switchbacks and then get some pretty good aerial views of the gulch I just showed you. And uh, that's the Ben Tyler Gulch, obviously. And then once you keep going, you'll hit a trail junction. You're gonna take a right and then you're basically gonna work your way down to the end of the uh, trail. So a bit disappointing today, but still good to get out in the winter and uh, get the legs moving, get the lungs pumping a bit. And yeah, first time on the Ben Tyler Trail and we'll definitely be back because uh, segment four of the Colorado Trail actually works its way a little bit along the Ben Tyler Trail uh, on the other side where we're going. So, yep, uh, nice hike. Definitely recommend it for fall. I can only imagine how pretty this would be. And in the winter, if you're looking to stretch your legs, it's a nice hike. There's really no avalanche risk at all. Um, it's a good place to snowshoe once you kind of get past the well-established uh, path of others. Yeah, just be able to keep hiking through the winter. Juno, are you tired? Yeah. On behalf of Juno and I, that's gonna wrap up this review of the Ben Tyler Trail. Thanks for watching. And again, for more information on the Ben Tyler Trail, you can go ahead and check the link below. It'll have everything you need to know about this hike, where to park, how long it is, elevation gain, all that fun stuff. Uh, please subscribe not to miss any future hike content, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.